Welcome back to the channel. This is Audit Rewind. I hope you're all doing well and we have a big lineup to all you guys today on today's reaction show. If you're new, consider subscribing and leave a like on today's video to show your support. Please also consider supporting all of these featured auditors. The description box is full of all their links and accreditations. This is going to be a crazy episode, so grab yourselves a snack and a drink and let's get started. Today we're going to be starting with a clip from News Now Patrick from an audit that he did at a sheriff's office. Now this is pretty weird because right off the bat, the officers in this video try and demand ID without any reasonable articulable suspicion. They just seem to try and say that Patrick isn't supposed to be there and that they're acting really weird towards the fact that he is filming them. I don't know why, but the cops are the ones acting suspicious, not the auditors. I'll leave a link down below to the original. I'm going to react to what happens. Let's get started. Are we allowed in? Yeah, go ahead. That's public office. Go pop in there. Huh? Hello. How you doing? Can I have got some? No, we just wanted to get a picture of some of the uh, historic things you got posted. Gotcha. Is that, is that ID's with you real quick? IDs? Yeah. No, I don't have ID. You don't have IDs? No, we don't have IDs. Is it, I mean, do we need ID? Well, it's just a little weird. I mean, people come, you know, taking videos of public buildings and things yeah. like that. I, mean, I understand. Homeland security and all the other stuff that comes up. Not saying you guys do anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can ask, but we can politely decline. Absolutely. All right. Yep, all right. All right, thank you. Thank you guys have a good day. You too. Uh, we're just going to come in and get some of the shots of the... Uh... Uh, actually, we have a lot of stuff in here that we probably don't want video, like our security cameras and stuff for what, our jail and what, things what, like that. What's your name, sir? Keith Dale. Keith Dale. What's yep. your badge number? Two. Two? Mm -hmm. And is this the sheriff's department? It is. Is this the lobby? No. Do you come in to make a report? Uh, actually, Where we, do you, okay. we go to you guys to make reports most of the time. This is a public entry. If we come in here to the sheriff's department to make a report or get a complaint form, where do we go? I can give you a complaint form. Well, I mean, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to establish, is this where we go? And yeah. Yeah, you can come so in So are you here. denying access entry? No, I mean, if you have a complaint, I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it. Well, I'm, what I'm trying to say is if it's publicly accessible, we should mm -hmm. be able to come in and take pictures and then be free to go. Right. Well... Is there is the sheriff available or he's not? Uh, nope, okay. I'm in charge right now. Okay. So all right. Um, I mean, I just I just said. Yeah, I'll probably uh, come back at a later date so okay. and I'll get a complaint form. That's why I was, you know. I Although this sheriff was seen as understanding, I think that overall he was just a bit ignorant to the First Amendment. He seemed to be worried about them filming inside of that particular room. But the point that Patrick brought up about the room being publicly accessible. Would that not mean that you, you know, directly or indirectly then have the First Amendment right in that room if it's publicly accessible? Because you'd have plain view in the room. And the problem with this is that the officer said that he doesn't want them filming the CCTV monitor, which is all those mini screens in the background that show the perimeter uh, parts of the, I think the prison he mentioned or something like that. So he's worried about that. But that's really weird because if they've got it out in the open for people to see with their own eyes then what difference does it make with someone filming it i don't know maybe they could try and say that that patrick's going to take film and and photo of it to like use for a, a break or something to get people out or like commit a crime but still there's no <laughs> they did have any grounds to suggest that so it's a bit weird how they just wouldn't let him in to get a complaints form but you know this officer here was trying to be kind he did ask them who they were so he did try and get an id check but overall i think patrick did really well in this and i liked how he handled it Next, we're going to be reacting to this video by the channel Gen X Press. I will leave a link down below to this channel. Please go and subscribe to them and support them for all the activism they do for the First Amendment. This is a First Amendment audit, a free press activity outside of a bank. And we have an officer here handing the auditor policy, trying to say that this piece of paper here, uh, the policy of the bank, doesn't allow this man to film the building so it's going to be interesting to see what happens here how gen x press goes about actually establishing the first amendment and uh, explaining to the officer that the policy does not apply to them 
because they are not an employee of the bank and they aren't into contract they haven't entered a contract with the bank to uh you know to stand under that policy so let's see what happens i'm gonna add my opinions and my reactions and my criticisms and uh, let's hope that the officer maybe wakes up a bit to the first amendment and the, the true law now i believe this is security it is not a law enforcement Okay, what you got? We just playing paragraph. Let me see. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna, Photography is not permitted on FHB property. I'm not on property. Well, you Th this is a public sidewalk, so that's snapped right there. I do this for a living, man. Okay, uh, and it's taking photographs. It's taking photographs. I'm not on the property. I'm on public sidewalk. If I step right here and we're, we're taking photographs, you'd be absolutely 100% correct. So. Here's the, here's the thing. What's your name? You mind me asking? I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. Well, I need to know yours anyway if I do, have to do an incident report. I'll say do an incident report. And, uh, but I'm, I don't want to do one. I, my name's Good Citizen. Okay? I Look, I'll explain to you what I'm doing if you want. If you really want to know. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so we go. It's called a First Amendment audit. I have a YouTube channel. We go out to public sidewalks all over the cities and counties. And I'm not specifically going to film a bank. However, if I'm rolling past and you come over and interact with me, I may film it for, you know, for a minute. And if I don't get an interaction, then I move along. You saw it in, you saw it in black and white. It's not me. Huh? You saw it in black and white. It's not me. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no and that, that's why I'm explaining to you. So what, and what we'll do is we'll have people come out and threaten us with the, because we have a camera. But it's a First Amendment right to film on a public sidewalk anything I see. Now, would I go up and, and zoom in on, on a bank? Hell no, I'm not going to do that. That's instigation. That's just me being, that's somebody trying to instigate things. But you came over, I wanted to have a conversation with you. So, well, how long, if you did How long is it going to take you to, uh, to rack up? You know what? That's not a directive, right? You're just asking me? Yeah, I'm, I'm just Okay, you're just asking me, you know what? I'll probably just move along if you you can kind of say yeah i kind of understand what you're doing well like i said i do to an extent that i don't even want to do incident report it, 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 oh, you don't have to do an incident report here's what would happen uh i'm just going to call you sir because i don't see a name it's going to be it's going to be real loud uh, that's okay you just go ahead and wrap up what you done let's just stay well, well, okay let me let me let me let no, me take hey, look all right you have a great day <laughs> the guy used the siren as an excuse to just bail on the conversation, as if he knew that Gen X Press was about to just educate him to the max and own him. Right now, I think that this man is doing the wrong thing. He is actually trying to do a job, but he doesn't realise that Gen X Press is in fact on a public easement and has just stood in public. He's not in the bank. He's not on bank property from what I could see. So the security guard is ill-informed and seems to be a bit bored on his job. I think he needs to do a better research and be retrained, in my opinion, because if you're going out to public and telling people that they need to follow a bank's policy, then you're not too much of a very good security guard. You're not very educated. The problem with this is I can understand that maybe he's trying to protect the bank or he he's trying to like help it out a bit to figure out who uh, the auditor is and why he's filming. Maybe it seems a bit weird and suspicious. You know, people don't always film banks, but at the same time, the guy's just exercising his rights to film. He could be taking photos for a business, a stock footage company. It could be anything along those lines. And really, the security guard shouldn't interfere until he enters into the property. And even then, it would be uh, still uh, a First Amendment protected activity. So, yeah. I like this audit and I like the way that Gen X Press handled this. So go subscribe to him, all of you. Link to his channel down below. You guessed it, guys. We are back with another post office audit from MAA Audit. I love post office audits. This, this post office looks a bit small. It looks a bit cramped, I must admit, compared to some of the other post office I've seen. This is tiny, this one. But uh, we're about to look at some interactions with some members of public, some employees. They don't feel comfortable being filmed by these auditors. They don't quite understand the law, I don't think, in my opinion. And uh, they say some rather outlandish, weird stuff in this video. For example, that they're going to sue them if they find it uploaded on YouTube. And that they also 
uh, don't think it's allowed to uh, film in these post offices. So let's take a look. I'm going to give my opinions and my criticisms of what I think of this particular video. And please, if you're not already subscribed to MAA Audit, then go do it now. What the hell are you waiting for? Go and show them some support. Link in the description. Anywhere in public, you can film. You don't need anyone's permission. You don't need consent. No, it's just kidding. Oh, okay. oh I, I sounded like you were serious. My bad. No, just oh, just kidding. You said you need permission to film a federal employee's video. It's what you do with it after you film it that you run into crap. I couldn't hear you. It's what you do with it after you film it that you run into Oh, I'm going to put it all over the internet. I have a huge social media channel so I'm gonna release it on the internet that's when I sue you you can't sue me yes I can no you can't yes I can How? no expectation of privacy what would you sue me for that's right. if you take a picture of me on my property or in my car I'm, a, I'm on public and you property put that on the internet I'm going to then you are gonna you you run a you run a foul of privacy laws which privacy law I only law? spent 30 years in journalism to understand no you didn't no, you didn't. The, the First Amendment protects freedom of the press. There's no expectation of privacy in public. I'm interested to know what, it, what in fact, you'd sue me for. Because if you're going to sue me for privacy and there's no expectation of privacy in public, which of your privacy rights have been violated? I don't know. It might sound like I know what I I'm know talking what about. Right? I don't know what you're doing here, but... <laughs> it's called, but it's I called do proving know, the point. I do know that there are limitations on, on where I can go with a camera to take a picture in for for a news. Well, listen, I couldn't go in your home, right? Like that's private property. That'd be voyeurism. That'd be peep. I couldn't do that. But anywhere in public, I don't have to get a consent form from. I 100% totally agree with the auditor here, and I think the law does too. What the man is trying to say doesn't make very much sense in my opinion, because he is saying that they are allowed to film in this building, however it's what they do with the footage afterwards. To me that doesn't make very much sense, what he's trying to say, I don't know if I don't fully understand his point, maybe he didn't convey it properly to me in the video, but the bit I'm trying to understand is how he thinks that you are allowed to film but you're not allowed to post it to YouTube then without the consent form. That doesn't make any sense and that's not correct at all. People film every day in vlogs, walking down the high street, the city, city center. Does that mean they have to go around to everyone that's in the background of their vlog asking to, for them to sign a consent form? That's so stupid. It's not even, it wouldn't even be possible. You'd, you'd spend the whole day trying to get people to sign consent forms a whole people wouldn't be able to stop because they'd be too busy then you'd also have to basically stop every five seconds and look at all the people in the view of your camera it's stupid like look this black car coming up here on the left quick you have to run out and stop the traffic and say whoa i need to get a consent form stop like what the hell this logic doesn't make any sense the man is completely oblivious to what the first amendment actually entails <laughs> anyway that was my reaction to the clip. Uh, go and support the auditors. Link down below. I'm sorry. Next, we're going to be watching another post office audit, this time by one of my favorite auditors, Tyrant Terminator. Now, I know that basically 99.999999% of you are subscribed to Tyrant Terminator. But if you aren't, if you're that 0.00... Okay, I'll stop. But if you're that tiny percentage that aren't subbed, go do it now. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. This is crazy. He has a audit in a post office where he's exercising his first. And he comes across some employees. And also, the, the best bit about this is there's an ID refusal that takes place halfway through this post office audit with a cop who actually gets called and turns up to the scene. I'm interested to see what the cop tries to say to Tyrant Terminator in order to somehow convince him that what he's doing is not allowed because Tyrant Terminator knows his rights, he's not stupid and he actually is aware of the law 
Plain View Doctrine, Poster 7, The First Amendment. You know, he knows so much. He's got the law on his side. So I'm interested to see what they actually try and do here. I'm sorry? Um, probably in a few moments, not at the moment. You can't film in federal facility. I'm sorry? You can't film in this facility because we have people's addresses and personal information up here. And you can't film here. Well, I understand that you guys might have something personal, but we, we are allowed to do this. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm you're pretty not. sure you're not. I'm, hey, this is a federal facility. It's not state. It's federal. I know. So I'm I have sorry. to ask you either to stop filming or I have to have, ask you to leave. So, what, like, after I'm done getting all my footage that I need for the post office, then I'll definitely leave. No, but no. I, it's either I, you stop filming. Are you the postmaster? I'm a supervisor. Supervisor, okay. So, so yeah. I have to ask you to either turn it off. Well, I would, like I said, after I'm done, I definitely. Sir, no, no. There's not an I have to ask you to either turn it off. All right, off. so you must be the supervisor. I mean, the postmaster. You know what I am yeah. is I'm a clerk that knows the habit rate here. It Sir, says that you so have either to, I have to ask you or I'm going to have to call have the police. To, well, I don't think that the police is necessary. I don't. Then I would have to ask you to turn it off. Leave. And that was just all I was doing is just filming the stuff that's in the right. lobbies yeah. right here. It's people's personal information. What if it's someone's letter here? What if it was yours? Well, that's well, that's just and, the thing. And, and if, if, totally if, if it's something that's something in like private, but I'm, I'm and it's in public, you. you guys have to protect it. Yeah, this I'm you. asking you. This isn't for YouTube or anything else. You have to. Leave. So, ma'am, so uh, sir, what, so no, first of all, we no, have to there is no. film in public, and then I have to no, purchase no, no. a stamp sir, and no. fill out a passport. So I got to, there's I'm several things that I need to do. So if you need to do Either you can stop filming. Oh, so you're asking. Oh, okay, asking. I, I understand, I understand. Well, I, I respectfully decline. Okay, okay. and I, I'll have to call the police. Go ahead. Well, that's unnecessary, though. I don't. It's, it's one or the other. I'm giving you the option. I mean, which, Either you can you, stop filming. Both of these employees seem to be coming across as rather scared panicky and a slight bit confrontational like angry they're like yelling at him trying to bark orders at him as if he's going to do what they say i think it just comes from their ignorance where they actually think what they're doing is right they don't seem to understand his rights to film in publicly accessible areas and his first amendment constitutional rights to free press and free speech so it's inevitable now by watching this video i know for certain that the police will definitely be on the way They've tried to give Tyrant Terminator ultimatums to basically say, if you don't stop filming now, we are going to take action. I think they're trying to stop him at all costs because for whatever reason, they actually think that he is breaking the law or like breaking their policy. They're definitely overreacting and they're panicking for some reason. Maybe they just don't feel comfortable being on camera and that's fueling their kind of panicky reaction. Let's see what the cop has to say here. Take care of whatever you have to take care of. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Okay, yeah, like I said, I, okay, when I'm done. I, I call the police. The authority may know, and they mm -hmm. said she was at a meeting, but it looked like she came out. So I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Oh. They're not sure, so. Okay. I mean, is there anything that we can help resolve the situation where everybody can just, you know, walk away? You, and yeah, yeah, so. so our day? Yeah, for sure. So what would be great is, is if you guys can, um, uh, Educate them that what we're doing is uh, constitutionally protected, and uh, we that that should suffice. That, that'd be beautiful. Okay. Oh, uh, you mind if I get your information, sir? I just want to remain. No, I just want to remain anonymous. You know? Well, I mean, you know, I made contact with you. I understand. So I, 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 I gotta get your information. Sir. Well, well, minus a crime, there's no uh, legal obligation I, for I me made, to. You know, I made contact with you, sir. So that's the yeah. main reason why. I, I can, I can understand. I can understand. So, that's all I'm. That's all I'm saying is that I made contact with you. You know, you're still. You know, I mean, did she deny you service? Did she say that you couldn't buy the postcard? Oh no, 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 she didn't. She never said that. She was just basically saying, in order to serve me, I would have to cut off my camera, which will be a definite violation of my rights if I have to surrender those rights in order to get services. So. Okay. Well, listen, listen, man. I just want you to be able to go get your card and you know go about your day. Like you know, sounds innocent enough. Um, I still need to speak with her, but yeah, you know, like just, I said, the I mean, postmaster. Just, just like how you asked me for my information, I, I understand, but, you, for yours. but it's per your policy to identify yourself. Well, no, no, listen. What I'm saying is, is that I made contact with you. You're choosing to remain here, of and, course. And, and, and videos in which I mean, I get it. Right. But what I'm telling you is, is that 
because we made contact, I need to get your information now. Yeah, I know, I, and I will once I'm done conducting the business that I need to conduct here. Here's the next problem. If I go ask your boss, Mm -hmm. Saying you're refusing to leave, you're right. gonna get arrested for criminal trespassing. So on federal property, and you're yes. and you're and you're a county uh, officer. So you guys I have jurisdiction. Right. So, but you're, but you're not a federal officer. So the, the proper authorities. You're to like me to call a postal inspector. No, you, you don't even know what's going on. So you're coming in right away trying to escalate. He's, he's, he's saying that he came in here and I don't have the chance to talk to him. Right. I don't have the chance to talk to him. Right. Because he's saying that he came in here and he refused. If you look right there on their walls. He's saying that he came in here to try and purchase a Mother's Day card. Well, 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 what, 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 that, wasn't that what it was? A stamp and a passport. Okay, you want to, okay, I thought you said one. Okay, so he came here to get his stamp and passport. You while were, recording. You, there you go. You, while recording. For okay. sure. So you're saying, wait, wait, hold on, wait, I just want to make sure I get this straight. Mm -hmm. So you came in, I thought you said you were like coming in here to purchase something or conduct some business. So it was three things. So the first thing I wanted to do is record in public and purchase a stamp and fill out a passport. But what I what I forgot to tell you is, officer, if you look right there on the rules and regulations on federal property. It yep. So the second cop that turned up really did ruin the situation. Uh, the first cop was being a little more understanding. He was willing to do some investigation, question the post office employee, and also ask Tyrant Terminator for his side of the story. Yes, he did try and perform an ID check. But I guess that's just like his robotic police academy training. They all do that, whether they're good cops or bad cops. It's just when you educate them and put them in their place, whether they actually bow to the law and their oath they took. Now, the second cop is a whole nother story. He came in really stubborn, really angry, as if he's sick of auditors and doesn't like um, dealing with them. So he basically just put it straight. He said you're gonna have to get out if they want you gone if the boss wants you gone you could be arrested for doing this like what that's really crazy to solicit an unlawful trespass in my opinion would be awful because there's no reason for them to trespass him if he's simply just exercising his first amendment right why is it in some post office audits tyrant terminator meets employees that say he's allowed to do it and know that he has a first amendment and then others that call the police and actually try and get him arrested the law shouldn't be something based on whether you've done your homework or not it is something that is quite literally in indistinct it is this <sighs> there's not even a word like it's it's either yes or no it's either lawful or unlawful why is it it's just so dependable on which post office you go to depending on whether the whether the officer who attends and also the employee is actually aware of the law this is so worrying there needs to be more activism and awareness in you know schools and the younger years about the first amendment and the constitution and then we won't have this happening all the time usually we watch these audits from the perspective of patrick's channel but i have to say that today we're going to be watching it from chuck bronson's channel if you're not subscribed to Chuck either, then definitely go and do that. The link is down below to his channel. Please go and show him some support for his activism. This is probably the best video of today by far. And I wanted to add my reactions and my opinions to what actually happens here because we have a unbelievable piece of behavior from a sergeant towards News Now Patrick. Now, Patrick and Chuck were just doing a First Amendment audit. They were walking around this area filming and this sergeant comes out completely off, I mean, trigger happy, like really, really completely nuts, screaming at them, yelling at them, losing his stuff, f saying that he's going to arrest them, flexing his handcuffs. It's crazy. It's crazy what this sergeant does uh, towards Patrick. And let's just take a look. I, I don't want to give away everything that happens because otherwise I'll be ruining the video. So I'll give my reactions through it. Let's go. Private vehicles. Private vehicles keep in it a up. public lot. Keep, keep it up. You're under a camera here. Okay. We're watching everything you're That's doing. That's fine. Give me your ID. No. you just been snoo seen snooping this around is a, This is a public lot. I'm talking to you. This is a public lot, You were Sergeant. looking in cards. Okay. That's private. And I was looking in the library parking I'm lot, too. I'm about to put you in jail if you don't provide some ID. Provide if for what? If you don't think I There's can't do it. Do I have anybody near the PD or at the PD? Yeah, send someone out here. I'm about to put this guy in jail. Let's go. 42, I'm this is a block. public lot, Sergeant. 
I'm looking in those vehicles. This is not public. This is a yeah. public lot. I could be here. The you could be here all night long. I don't yeah. want you to be out here. But you cannot be snooping around and looking in private vehicles. I didn't touch no vehicles. I can look in through the window. Come here. Come here. Step out here. Okay. You're on camera looking in these vehicles. Okay, it's a public lot. It's a police department. Yeah, you're right. It is, but it's not private. I mean, not public to be looking in people's vehicles. Okay, I'm not. I'm not vandalizing no vehicles. Did you just hear what I said? I'm not vandalizing any of the vehicles. I'm looking in the parking right, lot. Give me some ID. For what? Because I'm requiring it. I've got you legally detained, and you have to give it. L detained for what? Suspicious activity. Okay, this is a. You better grab lot. your buddy's camera because he's about to go to jail. You can video it. Let me hold it. This is a camera. public lot. Give him your camera. This is a public yeah, lot. Yeah, well, let's go. I have no clue. I just came for an officer complaint form. Who is he to you? I was really, really shocked how quick this officer was to arrest Patrick. That's pretty unbelievable, considering there should be some type of consequences to unlawful arrests. I believe that Patrick was in a situation where he was actually, well, quite literally cornered against a wall. I was about to say that, and then I realized he is. Uh, <laughs> um, I can understand the officers trying to say they're suspicious because of the time of day. It's dark, and they are filming the cars. But in my opinion, that's still not reasonable, articulable suspicion. Like, it may be slightly suspicious to perform an ID check. However, it's just not really reasonable. You know, you have to have a reasonable form of suspicion. It can't just be vague, like, oh, you're stood near a crime scene, so I'm going to ID you. No, no, it has to be something connecting them to a crime. Or, you know, the saying, you have to be suspected of committing a crime, having commit a crime, or being about to commit a crime. So the, that's the key three things there of reasonable, articulable suspicion, which this officer had zero, in my opinion. No doubt that Patrick will be processed and released straight away without any charges because he's not done anything wrong. <laughs> anyway, go subscribe to Chuck's channel. This is Chuck Bronson. I'll leave a link down below to his channel so you can all go subscribe. Please, all of you go and do that. And let's get into our next clip. So we the Bosses went into this DMV and he was absolutely tested to the limits. These are some officers in this video and some employees that have no idea about the First Amendment of the Constitution and are acting really, really weird towards him. First of all, we've got two things that happen here. We've got a First Amendment audit which gets denied by the staff. Then we also have a ID refusal that takes place once the officers arrive. I believe there are actually multiple officers in this video, up to three and four. All of them apparently are pretty ignorant, so let's get started and see what actually has to happen here. By the way guys, if you're not subscribed to We The Bosses, go do that right now. I'll leave a link down below to his channel so you guys can easily access it and find where to subscribe to it. Like, let's see what happens. So sir, did you say it was illegal to record in here? Did you say it was illegal to record in here? Yes. Why is that? Can you explain that? No, I just needed to explain why it's illegal to record in public. This is a government building. Okay, yes, I do understand, which makes it public, right? That makes it a public building. And members of the public, especially if you're trying to gather, gather content for a story or you're documenting matters of public interest, you should be able to be in here and, 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 and do what you need to do. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you doing? Good. What's your name and your badge number? Officer uh, Conway. Nice right to meet you. Room. And... Are you the only one here? I am. Okay. So I'm not sure why they called you. Okay. Yeah. Field of Science is uh, no food or photography or any test. Right. Uh, yes, yes I, I do understand that, but this is just a sign. Mm -hmm. So this sign has to be backed by a statute. It has to be mm -hmm. backed, backed by law. Okay. Because members of the public have the right to live in public buildings and record. It's been established in, in, in court. You're talking about your First Amendment? Yes, exactly. It's my First Amendment to do what I'm doing. So, but whatever reason you think, because 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 the Secretary of State put up a sign here, that bars the members of the public from recording, but he doesn't have the authority to do that. Yeah. So, if you can explain to them that I have the right to be in here and record, I mean, I'm not... Do you want him um, trespass from the building? Do you want him trespass from the building? Yes. That's okay. not something okay. he's not allowed so to be inside the They're allowed building. to yeah, trespass you from the building. From a public building? Yes. Okay, do you understand that they can't do that unless I commit a crime? 
you can't you can't trespass okay. members of the public from a public space unless they've unless However, they've broken the law i'm not trying to teach you anything you're saying that you're causing a disturbance what what disturbance am i causing just just simply being in here recording is not causing a disturbance yes it is all right um, okay, I'll, I'll so we have it on video that this cop has literally just brought up Oh, so you're doing your First Amendment. It's the First Amendment. He literally knows what this guy is doing. Is he really going to then go and recognize his right, recognize his First Amendment, and then go and violate it? This is going to be so bad. If, that, if this cop just goes from saying, oh, you're doing your First Amendment, quite literally calling it out and recognizing it, to then trying to enforce a policy over the top of it, or worse, try and say that he is breaking a law by exercising that First Amendment right, I will be absolutely shocked. I can't see how the officers are going to get away with this, and if they do, it's going to be absolutely astounding. Right now, we're going to be looking at them attempting to get ID. I don't know what their reasonable, articulable suspicion actually is for that ID, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what their excuse is when that time comes. Let's keep watching. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll show you something really quickly that, that might help you. We're going to this one, this is, this is why we do what we do to change things like this. Okay, so right. you're interrupting the full regular. I, I wasn't. I, I'm not inter interrupting anything. Sorry. All right. I'm not. I'm not in anybody's way. I, I'm not. I'm not preventing anybody from carrying out their business here today. Do you, um, have... you need to take me off of that film. You hear me? Yeah. So, I see the disturbance you're creating. Sir, so, him, him reacting to me is not me creating a disturbance. That's him creating a disturbance. Him reacting to me, I never engaged him. So he reacted to me. That doesn't... Okay, okay. I'm not in the way. Okay, can you take him outside, please? Okay, he, he'll, he'll be violating my rights, and, and, and that'll, be a, that'll be a lawsuit. Guys, right. let's do a favor. Everybody that's not here, go in that door. Okay. You can do whatever you want. Right? Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll, I'll come talk to you. This gentleman wants an audience. We don't want to provide that for him. So please go into that door. Not my partner comes out. Okay. Do you so want me to read this to you? You don't, It doesn't matter. You too, sir. Okay. okay. Well, I, 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 I would hope you would uphold my right here today to do what I'm doing. Am I not doing that at all right now? I appreciate that. I appreciate it. But I, but I want them to know that I'm able to do it. Mm -hmm. If you can explain to them that I'm able to be here and record. Five two. Is there another unit coming here? We need another unit to come here. I just want to document matters of public interest. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. I gave you my name and badge number. I'm guessing you can refuse to give me your name now? Not right now. <laughs> depending on how it goes. Wait, depending on how it goes, I might introduce myself to you at the end of the day. So don't don't prejudge me yet. Don't prejudge me. When we finish, depending on how it goes. See, it's, it's strange how you can um, demand something from me, but when I ask you politely for something. No, I'm not demanding. You you're, said name and badge number as soon as I open the door. Yes, but that's your. Because what? Because you're required to do that. Because you're, 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 a, public, right. you're a public employee, right? Exactly. You're required to identify yourself to the members of the public. It's a First Amendment activist. Okay. I you would, want him out of the building. I would take away his audience. I wouldn't they describe. For everybody's name and badge number, of course. Um, they want to trespass in public building. May I may I have your name and your badge number, sir? Yep. No. What's going on, sir? Hey, how's it going? Good. May, how are you? May I have your name and your badge number? Yeah, George is five five nine. Nice to meet you. What about you, sir? I appreciate, I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't. I'm great. I'm great. I'm just here to document matters of public interest. And they told me that I couldn't be here and record. There were multiple that. people that were upset that he was recording them while they were doing transactions. Of you. you know, everything is caught was have been recorded. So I would advise you to make sure what you're saying is, is accurate. The guy that you said, please don't record me. When I'm doing yeah, but he's in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. He can ask me to stop the recording him in public. Sure. They right. Can post this and you're asking the photographer. And, and I was about. explaining to him that. There is a sign here, but this sign needs to be backed up by a statute. You can just put up a sign to tell me not to do what I have the right to do. I have a First Amendment right to be here and document my activity here today. So if if, if you stop me from knowing that, you're violating my, my, my First Amendment right. Right? So, yeah. Oh my goodness me, the smirk that that 
that other cop came in with the shorter one as if he's like oh another one of these guys i love violating their rights that's astounding the other cop originally that said that he he, he recognized the first amendment was being you know uh, carried out just kind of dismissed it in in my opinion didn't just dismiss it but more so mocked it oh we got another first amendment auditor right here as his colleagues come through the door what is this some kind of a joke to them do they think that the first amendment's just a made up section of the constitution that's really really bad i think the way that they behave towards we the bosses was disrespectful and violating his rights this is what people mean when they say the word tyrant it's really really disappointing and don't forget that these officers would have sworn an oath that's worrying and i mean i don't know what else to say it's very bad they're trying to say that the dmv wanted them to be trespassed for filming so they did so and solicited with what i would consider to be a, an illegal trespass without any grounds whatsoever go subscribe to we the bosses if you want to finish watching the full audit i'll leave a link to it in the description box down below look at how many officers turn up for one guy in a camera there's like a whole platoon of them what the what on earth? okay those guys aren't officers but there's like four or five anyway guys thanks for making it to the end of tonight's show if you're new please consider subscribing to stay up to date with all of my videos and leave a like before you go as it helps the channel thank you see you next time <laughs>